Okay, this video is going to be about how do I add Freon or refrigerant to my window or wall air conditioning unit. Okay, there's actually a few things that you can use to um, add re refrigerant or Freon to your window air conditioner or wall unit. There's actually, you're going to have to actually add a valve to your air conditioning unit over here. There's actually three popular valves that you can use and I'm going to start from my favorite to my least favorite. I like using these ones actually. Uh, these are probably the easiest ones to use. They're called Watsco's. Uh, it's actually, you have two types pretty much, A1 and A2 version. This is the A2. The A2 is for bigger diameter pipes, which is for half inch and five eighths. This won't work here because this piping right here is 3 eighths and this one is 5 sixteenths. So if you notice on this one here, this is a Mac. These are actually pretty good too. I like these. Okay, I rather use the Watsco brand, but these are actually pretty good. If you notice in the bottom, the size is there is going to be for one quarter. Usually one quarter is just for refrigeration, not for AC. So you can use these also in refrigeration. Uh, 5 16 and 3 8 will be for your air conditioning so you could actually use this one on this AC to tap into it this is another one I don't like these ones but you can use these ones this is a, a subco bullet piercing valves um, this is a one quarter 5 16 3 8 um, I I like using these a little better because for some reason these are a little bit harder to put on and if you don't put them on right they'll actually leak so you have to be really and more careful putting these on than these on okay so i just have more success putting these on um when you install these ones you have to actually put them like literally 110 percent perfect or else if you sit them on wrong the pipe they will leak and once they start leaking it's a big problem because once you pierce that that copper and you and, and if you pierce it wrong uh and it doesn't seal and then you just created another problem right so i i i'll take my chances with these valves instead of the um uh instead of the the sub goes okay so the way you do this i'm going to show you all how to do this okay The way you do this, is okay, when you install these, when you install these um, piercing valves, or they actually have about three names that you can use for these piercing valves. Um, some people call them piercing valves, some people call them line tap valves, and some people call them access valves, okay. I actually call them uh, line tap valves instead, a lot of people call them piercing valves. So we're gonna go with my favorite one, which is this one. Okay, I'm gonna install this one because these, these are the ones that I like installing. So it's a little pack right here. I guess we're gonna do an, an unboxing too. It's brand new actually, okay. That's how it looks like. Okay, when you take it out of the box, okay. So I guess we'll do a little unboxing at the same time here. How it looks like. So when you open it up, okay, when you open this up, this is supposed to sit um, on top of here like this, okay? Now if you notice here, there's a gasket in here, it's a rubber gasket. So what happens is, This is your suction line, which is the cold pipe, okay? And this is your hot pipe. Everybody wants to check their other, their other pressure, which is your height size. So I remember when I first started out doing this, I asked my teacher, well, could I put the line tap on this side? And you can't because what happens is this gasket here will actually melt on here and then you'll get a leak. So you can only put these line tap valves or piercing valves 
actually on the actual suction side over here this is the cold pipe uh, now keep in mind when you install these um, these piercing valves you got to look at your compressor okay the big pipe will be your suction pipe or your cold pipe and then the smaller pipe will be your discharge okay so if you notice you could actually install this piercing valve anywhere on the unit here if you have the big pipe so you could put it here um, the easiest place actually would have put it right over here if you notice when the manufacturer installed this unit or when they were installing the compressor this was actually where they installed the Freon but they have a special tool to crimp it and cramp it and then they can take out the access where this is where it, where it was when they actually manufactured this unit but what happens is this is called a sealed system now okay where where you have to the only way you can add freon or refrigerant to this unit is by installing one of these now because the manufacturer actually cut it off okay so now you have to install one of these from scratch the other way you can do it is putting one of these on okay if you want to check freon in your high side or your discharge side you're gonna to have to put one of these on there okay so you can actually put it there or you can put it there now the big difference though between installing one of these and installing one of these okay these piercing valves they're really convenient because you can still have refrigerant or freon in your unit and install one of these okay you can still have pressure the only way you can install one of these is you have pretty much have to have no pressure in your unit because you have to put a hole in there and then you have to weld it okay so that's the only problem with these is that you have to actually make a hole and then uh the the re the refrigerant or freon in the system has to be empty before you can put one of these so most people um install the um these line taps because you can still actually just put them on the unit and if even if there's refrigerant in your unit you can all you got to do is add some freon and you're good okay even if there's a charge in your system okay so let's uh continue and i'm going to show you all how we can just do this the way i would do it the way i would do this actually you never when you install a tap line you don't usually want to put it on the u okay you want to put it on the straightest possible shot if you notice when they put this they put it from here to here okay so he kind of took my spot so i'm going to probably put it right over here okay this tap line so let's see this is going to be three eighths now if you notice here they do give you uh these are um these will help with the measurements on your pipe so if you have a quarter you're going to want to use this one if you have five sixteenths you use this one okay and if you have a bigger pipe, you're not going to need any of these to make up for the diameter, okay? You can just put the actual line tap on, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here. You want to make sure it sits on good. Okay. Like that. Pretty simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on just like that. You're going to have to get these two screws. It comes with an Allen wrench. That's why I love these. It's just two screws and it sits right on there. Okay. So I recommend these ones. Actually, you know what? It looks like I was wrong. This, this is actually two too um too small so we may have to go with the actual um half inch i haven't done this in like 20 years okay so so we're gonna have to go with the bigger this is actually gonna be um and if you notice this one has a different gasket on there this has a, like a little rubber ring and that's why you can't install it on this other line on the high side line because this this line like i said gets hot and this rubber gasket will actually melt okay and then you'll get a leak okay so on this one here i guess we're going to do another unboxing here for the bigger this is going to be the watsco a2 
keep in mind this is an eighteen thousand uh, dollar i mean this is an eighteen thousand <laughs> uh, btu um, air conditioning unit here it's an lg so what we're gonna do is you got to get it on right here okay yeah this is the right size okay it's gonna be the a2 top line watts go for your 18 thousand BTU air conditioning units so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on there like this okay and then this goes like that okay and then you're gonna wanna there you go that sits on real good okay and then what you do is you that goes in there like that You want to do it really evenly make sure you know you tighten up each side little by little you, you don't want to tighten up one side really hard so you want to actually do a few turns on one side then you do a few turns on one side you want to make sure this this valve on there sits on there pretty much very evenly so it, as it gets tighter and tarter, tighter you do half a turn on this side or a quarter turn okay make sure it's pretty much very even and then once it's on there you got to really make sure it's on there really 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 tight because it has to have a good seal with that gasket or else you're gonna you're gonna leak uh free on a refrigerant right so you do actually have to make sure it's on there really really tight right now once it's on there you got to put this this thing on there and what you do is you put it on there like that and then you put the cap on it and this will actually there's a needle in here and this will press on the copper once you do that okay you tighten this up and that will actually puncture puncture the copper okay now once it's actually done and down you take it up okay and then you take it out okay and then now it has punctured the copper pipe once it's once you've punctured it you could actually uh check your freon levels and you could actually start recharging right away it's that easy okay there's just a few little things that you have to do and you're all set and that's actually uh the beginning part how to recharge a window air conditioning unit okay you have to actually add this valve okay uh i'm gonna make another video on part two uh on actually what the pressure should be okay i might actually have another video on uh what the pressure should be but it's gonna be the same pressure as like a central air conditioning unit okay well thanks for watching that's how you actually add refrigerant to a window air conditioning unit okay keep in mind if it's r22 you want to have pressures of 75 over here okay around 75 if you have 134 refrigerant you want to have pressures of around one to, uh, between 125 and 150 over here okay so that's what your pressure should be on your suction side okay and remember you can't check the pressures here because it's going to melt that gasket okay thanks for watching